What's up everybody, welcome to ZB Tech. My name is Zach. Today we're going to do a comparison between the Corsair Glaive and the Logitech G502. As you can tell right away, they both are very eye-pleasing gaming mice. From the cutting edge design and elegant curves to the fully customizable RGB LEDs. Both mice feature a premium six foot braided cable, which is very nice and, and should hold up for a very long time. And comes in around 70 US dollars. First, I wanna talk about the ergonomics. Both mice feel great in the hand and are very comfortable for me during heavy gaming, editing, uh, regular web browsing, I have no issues or complaints on either. The G502 is a smaller than average gaming mouse that has a customizable weight system and a comfortable curve with a wide thumb support. Included with the mouse are five 3.6 gram weights you can add to make the mouse heavier or balance it to your liking. The Corsair Glaive has a much larger body and overall feel compared to the G502 but also comes with three interchangeable thumb grips to cater to your hand and preference. One grip is straight and slick, another straight with a textured surface, and the last grip is a textured with a large thumb grip sim similar to what's found on the G502's stationary side grip. On to the sensors. The Corsair Glaive has a slightly higher accuracy sensor than the G502 coming in at 16,000 dpi. It's an optical sensor and is adjustable by one DPI, so you can dial in the perfect speed. And the G502 has a exclusive G Delta Zero optical sensor, and it tops out at 12,000 DPI. As far as button layout goes on the mice, the Glaive has six programmable buttons. The left and right click and the middle mouse button, and DPI on the fly button, and two bumpers on the left side of the mouse positioned above the thumb, most commonly used as the forward and back buttons. The G502 takes the win here in my opinion. It comes with 11 programmable buttons. It's got a standard left and right click and a middle mouse button, DPI profile selection button, a scroll wheel lock button located on the top of the mouse. Moving on to the left side, it has two DPI on the fly sensitivity buttons located near your index finger. And above the thumb, it has two bumpers to utilize forward and backward. And lastly, the mouse has a sniper button located near the tip of the thumb when positioned in normal hand position. To be noted, the scroll wheel can be moved side to side for side scrolling, and it also has an endless rotation feature, which is incredible for web browsing. Lastly, we have the RGB lighting. The Glaive uses its Q so lighting software to program macro buttons, create and edit profiles, and give endless RGB combinations, especially when paired up with other Corsair RGB enabled peripherals. The G502 uses Logitech's gaming software to customize lights, set up profiles, as well as program the buttons. The Glaive has three lighting zones, the logo, the bars running along the top of the mouse, and front vent area casting light on the mouse pad. The G502 lighting zone includes the G logo as well as the DPI setting lights. As a long-term user of the G502 and Logitech products in general, I recently picked up the Glaive to test it out and try my hand at a different high-end brand. The Corsair Glaive is none short of a great mouse, but I still prefer the feel, button layout, and continuous scrolling wheel of the G502, so I will be sticking with it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.